Hello, it's me, Jacko Pimp. Welcome along. We're back playing some more Super Robot Wars 30. This will be episode 25. I think we just need to crack on with something. Now, I don't think either of these two missions are from the uh, new expansion pack, so... I kind of mentioned and kind of alluded to the fact that we were kind of done with expansion pack for a while on Friday's episode. Um, but this is from this is a mission from DLC pack one. I'm, I, we're just gonna play it. Why not? Just crack on. This is DLC pack one. Let's go for it. Uh, so yeah, we are done with expansion pack for a while. Um. I'm pretty sure there will be some more stuff. I'll just click through this. You can read it for yourself. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure there is some more expansion pack stuff to come. I've just not opened it up yet because I haven't played too much of the story. I'm finding it the way that the game is structured. You either play through the story missions and a bunch of kind of like side missions disappear or you play the side missions which just leaves you not forward in the story so that's what I've been doing playing like the submissions and like I've been playing I think this is like mission 112 113 something like that so I mean there are hundreds upon hundreds of missions which is uh, pretty amazing because yeah? we're barely you know we've barely started seeing B tier missions we've played a couple but not too many we've mostly been in the C tier of missions so one would assume we have to play through the B tier play through the A tier and maybe there's an S or a double S maybe I'm not sure uh, but there you go. So I think we've also got one more unit from DLC 1 to open up. Not 100% sure we've opened up everything from the expansion pack. Off the top of my head, I'm not 100% sure. But I'll just leave a message somewhere saying uh, whether there are any more units to open. There might be, there probably isn't. We have been pretty good with opening those up. Uh, I do believe there's one unit I haven't opened up from DLC 1. A one unit I haven't opened up from DLC 2. So yeah, we do need to play a bit more just to open up the last two units from the DLC packs. Oh no! my uncontrollable legs sure why not oh no no my legs are moving on their own towards the shower room right i think they they're like trying to perv on ladies taking showers right dirty old men would you care to explain why you were in front of the women's shower rooms yeah, these are like your work colleagues, so me too. Uh, so yeah, let's just blast through all of this dialogue. Again, I mean, if you're like well into anime and whatnot, uh, I mean, I am to a certain extent, but... You know, there has to be something to it for me to 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 enjoy an anime. I find that a lot of anime has kind of like kind of banal because obviously it's aimed. You know, I'm not the key demographic. The key demographic is people that like anime. So uh, there you go. I think we are gonna. Well, I think. Yeah, alright, so we've got all five of those guys. We're going to take the Godinian as usual. Why not? 
Uh, and then we've got a further 12, so this is enormous. This is going to be uh, 19 units total, man. I think we're just going to be boring and take Cybaster SRX. Uh, the Huckabean, I am not sure about the Huckabean. She has kind of fallen off strength wise. Even Gridman is still super strong in comparison. I'm going to take Gridman just because I've not taken him out for a while. Take all the Gundams. Uh, so now we're down to five. So I think because we've only just opened him up, let's take get a one. Let's take the Dan Cougar. And we will... Ugh, we've only got three spaces now. Vanine I like. Gigengauer I like. And... Let's take the Grungus, just because I quite like him. Yeah, do it. This is a true robot war. This is like... <laughs> so, I mean, we're 19, and I assume that there's going to be either an equal number of bad guys, or probably slightly more. Also, we might have multiple stages of a mission. Come on, let's keep going. That's right, living people can't let the anger of the dead win, says Yuta. Gi says, let's go. We'll start with these demons. Things, there are so many characters. There are so many units, man. Which I guess is good, but good grief. So, we've not got a blue victory condition, so we... Need to defeat all enemies, but there's going to be more enemies uh, warping in as the battle progresses. Defeat conditions are as usual. Ally warship shot down, or one of these five is killed. Uh, that's a bit troublesome because they are fairly squishy. Uh, the demons in this mission make the previous ones look tame by comparison. Check the stats before you move in. Oh my lord. So are they all literally going to be like boss monsters? Uh, good stats. Morale. Okay. Okay, the armor. Mobility. In. I mean, level 58. So as long as anything's above level 58 there. Hit points are massively high. And they've only got one attack by the look of it. I mean, it is just one range one through five. So I think what we do is we make a good old gun line. <laughs> what a surprise. I'm tempted to even hang back a little bit to see them come forward so I think maybe we set up the gun line here oh, yeah because I mean we could quite easily be overrun so yeah let's uh, set up the gun line I'm honestly going to put all five of these guys in the rear rank. Just so that they don't take any untoward um, just so that they don't get any untoward attention drawn to them. I mean, I know like which are the melee characters which should technically be in the front. But I'm also going to put the Dan Cougar there. Let's put the ship just behind him. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, this is not a bad gun line. Um, I'm just going to park the ship there. And we might move that at some other point. Yeah, this is not a bad gun line. Yeah, I feel confident. Okay, and then the Grungus is going to be guarding that, that, uh, that flank there. Just going to change, just to make this a bit more comfortable in my eyes. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So this is our gun line. Uh, let's see what the bum rush brings. I mean, they are quite... I mean, five range is actually not bad. I mean, their attack is called melee, but it's a ranged attack, and it's uh, at a distance of five. I'm going to turn our moves off. Persist on as per usual. Uh, and then next time we'll move up to engage. Okay, we've got a support defend as well, so. Ugh, do I really want him to support defend? Let's give it a go. Uh, we're going home to our world. All of us together, says Tiger. That's what I saw. Here I come! I'll fight every single one of you. I'll be the one to end this battle. Okay, dodge out of the way. Just up my morale a little bit. Hmm, yeah, I'm not a big fan. He has no access to damage mitigation other than intuition. But intuition is uh, a total resource drain. Flash. Nice bit of damage there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure mostly the DLC characters get get persist because they are DLC characters and they are overly strong so I mean we are gonna start there you go. 30 plus 30 I'm gonna put drive on not gonna worry about the other thing That is not good, man. Oh wait, here's the th here's all the what's it? The extra uh, buffs. That <laughs> uh, is because I've not taken Gridman out for so long, and pretty much my strategy has changed since the last time I took Gridman out. Like, I was just intuitioning all the time. Well, and then just running out of resources. Okay, so. What do we do now? I think we try to. Okay, so that's two guys. Yeah, 
Let's see, this is bad. They, I mean, I'm pretty sure they deliberately take this. Um, that's their strategy as the AI. That's the AI's strategy. And two is just not worth it. In fact, it might not even be worth it to attack once. Uh, talking of attacking once, however, we can do a Cosmo Nova, like I say, every single turn, so... Double credits, why not? Off you pop. Okay, next up. I'm just gonna pop bullseye on just because I don't think we will take any damage. I mean obviously the Cybaster needs to be healed a little bit. There you go. In fact, doesn't this guy have a heal? Yeah, there you go. Faith. I don't know how often I get to cast that though. But let's uh, just cast it now and see if we can cast it a bit later as well. Oh, he can attack us back. Okay. Let's just stick persist on. Just in case. Yeah, like that. That's the reason why I want persist on. Uh, unfortunately, we are a little bit... unable now to ugh, move forward. This could be the end. Okay, it isn't. There we go. Let's uh, smite this guy. Actually, do I even need to worry about smite? What about a sword slash? Do it. Uh, if we dive into that hole, we can go back to our world. I'll fight this battle, I can't lose, or I'll never see anyone back in Tokyo again. Yep, off you pop. Some nice couple of level ups there. That is still quite... There we go. Let's just whack this guy with a get a beam. Bullseye. Can we Valor? Yes, we can. Do it. I mean, we are going to need to move forward slightly aggressively. Yeah, I mean, the problem with playing aggressively is you tend to lose your gun line positions. Yeah. Right. He's also got a great ace bonus, which is amazing. Yeah. I think we backfill our gun line with these units. Because, I mean, the frontline units can pretty much take out everything. Okay, up my morale a little bit there. Oh no, this isn't a Grungus, this is... Is it? 
Is it the Grungus? I never remember. What's this unit? This is the SRX, of course. Oh, hey, you can attack from there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to overextend. I don't see any value to it. Erica, engine to four. Time to win this battle and go home to Paris. I hope you're ready because this going away party is going to be one to remember. Nice. Still didn't get a kill though. Which is poor. like some kind of yeah okay we are gonna have to move these ships up as well Gridman not healed yet Nuts to it. Nuts to it. Okay, so we've upped our morale and we've got a wild instinct. Ho. Oh boy. Ugh. Do it. Would have preferred to have um, attacked with uh, an enemy with slightly more HP there, but what can you do? What can you do? One shot kill, we like. I'm actually going to change to a scissors dirt just in case the other attack doesn't quite get us across the threshold there. Look at that. <laughs> Four level ups at once. And there's a the doomsday whistle. 
I think we will be... I mean, this is probably going to be a long mission because of the no blue victory conditions. So this isn't the total... This isn't the totality of enemies. So I think I will put a cut in there and then we'll look at a bum rush on the next episode and then we'll try and do this maybe as a three part, three part, I'm not sure how long it's going to be but let's aim for a three part. Okay, thanks for watching, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.